One of the benefits of Azure App Service is the ability to deploy multiple web apps or functions onto the same app service plan. The app service plan is your compute layer. It's where your CPU and your memory exist. And so as a result, many times one application doesn't really maximize the instance of the app service plan that you have. Certainly you can scale the app service plan up and down, but many times you can get better density and utilization of the resource and save cost by deploying multiple web apps to the same same app service plan. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. If you if you watch my previous videos on how I deployed WordPress into the uh, into Azure App Service, a lot of what I'm showing you will be a follow up to that video. But even if you haven't watched those, this will really be helpful if you want to know how to deploy multiple web apps to the same app service plan. So we're here in the resource group where I initially deployed the WordPress site and you'll see there is an app service plan, a MySQL database and a web app and the web app is where the uh, WordPress site is deployed. Now the app service plan are the compute resources that host the website and you can have multiple apps deployed to a single app service plan and that really helps you maximize the compute resources. As you can see here in general I'm only using about 10% of the compute of the CPU on this instance of an app service plan and so there's room to grow I can deploy multiple apps here and up in this right hand area it shows you that there's only one app deployed if I click into this it's going to show you that that app is the WordPress website that we initially deployed so what we're going to do is we will deploy a second WordPress website to the same app service plan to do that I'm going to go back to the home area and I'm going to click create resource and here I'm going to search for web app. In fact, I actually see it down here. So I'm just going to click create on the web app section. Now, when it takes me in here, it's going to ask me for a bunch of information. What subscription uh, am I going to use? And then what resource group? I want to put it in the same resource group where I deployed the other WordPress site. So it's not in this subscription. So I'm going to go and make sure I choose the right subscription and select the resource group. And I'll give it a name. And we'll call this um, SH Talks Tech WP2. And in this case, similar to the previous video, we're going to deploy a Docker container. And feel free to go back and watch that video if you want to really go through the entire setup process of deploying a WordPress site. Now, it's going to ask me here if I want to deploy a new app service plan or I can select an existing one. And you'll see that it's not showing the existing one um, that I have deployed. And that's because I haven't selected the right region. I initially deployed it in the East US region, I believe. So when I select that, now it will give me the option of either using the existing app service plan or creating a new plan and uh, altogether. So we're going to uh, use the existing app service plan. We're going to go to the Docker settings and I'm going to select uh, single container and we're going to go with Docker Hub and I'm going to type WordPress from the public registry. No startup command. And once again, I go through this in a little bit more detail in my previous video, which is linked in the description below. We're not going to enable application insights. We're actually going to go to review and create. It's going to go through a validation process and then we're going to click create. Now it's going to go off. You'll see that the deployment is in progress. So it's taken the settings that we have done and it's converted what we put into the GUI into an ARM template uh, that it is now issuing against uh, the Azure um, resource provider. Okay, so it says our resource is deployed. So we can click go to resource and it's going to take us to the web app, the app service that's been deployed. And you'll see here it is using this existing app service plan. So now if we click back into the app service plan, we'll see that there are now two apps deployed. And when we select that, you'll see here is the new app that I just deployed. It's a Linux container based application. And here is the original WordPress site that I have deployed as well. Now, right now, this site won't work because I haven't configured a database and set the app settings up, but you can see it's here deployed and it's up and running. Mm -hmm. 